We have all had those strange dreams that don't provide any explanation for existing. It is proven that failing a test, losing or finding money, flying, falling, and appearing naked in public are common scenarios, but they must have some explanation, right? That was a weird dream. The science behind dreaming has been a mystery since the beginning of human existence. New technologies has enabled scientists to investigate this complex topic, gaining an understanding of how dreams really work. In 1953, researchers using electroencephalography, the measurement of electrical activity in the brain, were able to use people to test brain waves during sleep. <coughs> hey, shush! It has been concluded that there are five phases of sleep, from stage one to stage four then progressing into the REM phase. Stage one is characterized by the fact that we are awoken easily, muscle activity slows, and our eyes move very slowly. Stage four consists of extremely slow brain waves, or delta waves. Both stage three and four are grouped to be known as deep sleep, and if we awaken during this stage, we will most likely feel a little disorientated and need more time to adjust to the surroundings. The final stage in the sleep cycle is REM, or the rapid eye movement stage where our electrical activity in the brain looks strangely similar to when we are fully awake. We now know that our most memorable and vivid dreams almost always occur during the REM phase. Our breath is slightly shorter, our eyes move in different directions and our limb muscles become temporarily paralysed. Paralysed? Yeah. That's the reason why most of us don't act out our dreams, saving us from running into a wall or accidentally hitting someone. This paralysis is triggered by glycine and gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, which is released from the brainstem and communicated to muscles around the body. The cause of REM sleep is not yet fully understandable. However, the activation synthesis theory is the most recent explanation to solve this problem. It is believed that the brainstem generates random signals that are picked up by the cerebral cortex. Once activated, the cerebral cortex begins to process the information received from the brainstem, and this activity then drives the thalamus to create dream imagery and sensations. But why is dreaming so important? Well, that's debatable too. Some people think that it is linked with problem solving, finding patterns and connecting memories, whereas others say that dreaming is made up of meaningless information. It is proven that the more REM sleep you get, the better you are at remembering things from previous days. Science, research and our curiosity has led us to have a base understanding of where our dreams come from. After all, we do spend about six years of our lives dreaming, but for now, I better get back to sleep.